Welcome back. We're on the uh, Trask River again today. We're gonna go out. We're gonna pretty much the same spot, just a little bit up the ways from where we were at the other day. But uh, yeah, let's get some more crawfish. As usual, we got the Craster Creek trap out here. We got a couple of our uh, waste basket traps, and of course, we brought the wolf along. So today for bait, we're gonna be testing out a couple different types of bait. So we found this stuff. It's called the uh, Tuna Bloodline Crustacean Sensation Bait Pack. So the guys in the bait shop swore by this, said this is, is absolutely amazing, and it's a local guy, so support local business. Check this out. Next thing we got, we're gonna try out, you know, the standard whitefish and tuna cat food. And if that doesn't work, the locals have been saying just regular old hatch raised chicken breast no bunch of added um, uh, hormones or anything like that just regular old chicken smash it up get the oils out and chuck it in so yeah we're gonna try that out see what we can do with it. all right so we checked out our first trap now we're gonna check out our second trap we're gonna leave the Craster Creek trap out for bet the last one because that is by far the best trap but uh that spot right down there right behind those big rocks i don't know if you can see them but that was where we were getting some big old honkers the other day so we'll try for that again yeah absolutely beautiful out here though we got this beautiful little creek that runs up across the road yeah, super nice and easy to get to where we're at there's parking really close nearby actually hey guys check this out I can already see some crawfish. Look at them. Look at them all. Oh yeah, they're gonna come inside my trap here. Let's get them. So we're gonna check our trap out. I think somewhere out in there. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna try to check the trap in here. Just right out there. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's strap a GoPro to the inside of this sucker. Get some underwater footage. All right guys, so it's been about, uh, I'd say about 30 minutes. So we're gonna pull in the tuna bloodline trap, see how that stuff works. Uh, we saw a whole bunch just crawling around and there's a couple that was like right on top of it. So I'm expecting at least one or two, maybe more. I would love to be surprised and it just be completely full. So let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna pull in the first trap with the tuna bloodline. You wanna help, Bea? You wanna help? Oh yeah. All right, let's see what we are gonna get. It looks like it is full. I can see a whole bunch. 
Wow! Holy fucking hell! Oh my god! Ah! They're falling! Get into the trap! Oh my god! Turn the bloodline, guys! It is the legitness. Oh no! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Hang on. Let's get them all out. All right, guys, we pulled our first trap in, and holy crap, I have never seen a trap full this full. And this is one of these barrel traps, the ones that have been skunking us this entire season. Let's check this out. Look at this. Babe, get your nose out of there. You're going to get pinched, little wolf. This is just one trap's worth of crawfish. There's at least, you know, there was, there was too many to, to count, but I, I see a big old honker down here. Oh, that's not too big, but, uh, oh, man. All right, so to piggyback on the success of our first trap, let's go pull our other barrel trap and see how that one's doing. It's got some just regular old raw chicken that's been smashed up. All right, the second trap was a success. Had maybe 15, 20 crawfish in there, but hey, these barrel traps have redeemed themselves. Maybe it's just you got to get in the area where there's actually crawfish. So it turns out maybe the uh, Rattlesnake Lake and Lake Washington just don't have that big of a crawfish population anymore. So. We're gonna check this trap back out and then we're gonna go check the, check the creature trap and see how that's doing. All right, 30 minutes has passed. We're gonna do our first pull of the Craster Creek trap. It's been sitting out here right by that rock there. It's also where we found that derelict trap. So again, if you guys lost the trap out here, it's, you know, tell me which kind you lost. And if it's the one I have, then I'll get in contact with you. Cheers. Oh man, it's packed too. Nice and heavy. That is going to be some awesome underwater footage. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's some monsters. Oh, look at that. We got a little bullhead sculpin as well. Check this out. This guy crawling on top Hello. there. He's a big old honker. He's got a decent sized claw. And we got a little bullhead sculpin in there. Alright, so we pulled in our creek trap. It was absolutely full. Double checked our underwater footage and... <laughs> that was pretty awesome. We've got some pretty killer underwater footage. We'll link it here in a sec. But, uh, yeah, let's check it back out and see what we can get. All right, so it's been another 30 minutes. We're gonna pull in the tuna bloodline trap again, and I'm expecting it to be just absolutely chocking. So, uh, let's see. All right, tuna bloodline trap, let's do it. Again. Not as many as last time, but still a good fair few. You get back in there, you get back in there, you big claw motherfucker. Oh no! Get a big claw too. Oh no! Uh.
good few in there. And go ahead and turn off the recording. Man, there's one with some monster claws in there. have too many more because we're gonna oh look at that look at that that's a nice one we're gonna be out of space yeah. this guy's ready to go look at that <laughs> he's like come on mate come on let's go let's go I'll fuck you up eh <laughs> it's alright he ain't gonna get far All right, well, it's starting to get kind of late in the day. The sun's starting to get back behind the hill. And uh, it's gonna get kind of dark down here pretty quick. But uh, get a little bit of light over that way, but I don't feel like hiking up the river anymore. So we're gonna pull each of our traps one more time and see what we got. We already got almost a full bucket, so it's a good day so far. All right, so we're gonna pull this one in again. What we got? Yeah, there's a few in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I think we're starting to to fish this spot out. We're gonna move the traps around a bit. Are you ready, Bill? It's okay. Oh. Thank you, sweetheart. Alright, we got another uh, about seven or eight in there. Oh, we got one with some massive claws. Hell yeah. Look at this one. Look at that one there, guys. That's a big boy. I don't think it's a contender in the big claw contest, but he's definitely a big boy. Oh, hell yeah. What a great day. Alright, so we pulled our final pull of the Craster Creek trap, and of course, it was full. Uh, reviewed the underwater footage, and it's insane. It's like you know, swarm of the crawfish just piling in and there's a whole bunch of trout swimming around in the background, so that's pretty cool. Nice clear water. Uh, but yeah, our bucket's starting to overflow, so we're gonna pull the last two traps and hopefully we're gonna be overflowing in our bucket, but thankfully we got a bigger bucket up at the car, so let's go see what we got. So by far today, the outperforming bait has been that tuna bloodline. Uh, that crustacean sensation tuna bloodline is Absolutely incredible. I've been surprised at how well it worked. Uh, honestly, I want to go buy some more and chuck them out in my crab traps and then uh, check the pots out in, in uh, Garibaldi Bay or something like that because I'm sure we just absolutely slaughter them with that. But uh, yeah, so we're over here. The uh, Crustacean Sensation orange holder. The cool thing about that, he's got a patent on it and it holds pretty much any can. So uh, you got like a can of a cat food you want to put in there. You just pop a few, few holes in the top and then click her into the little orange sucker there and it stays pretty good. Uh, as you can, let's flip the camera around. As you can see, there's still a few crawfish around there, but I think we have kind of fished this area pretty hard and not as many as there was earlier in the first couple of pulls, but let's pull this one in and see how many there are, maybe two or three. 
absolutely beautiful. What an awesome stretch of river. Loaded with crawfish. Well, maybe not loaded with crawfish anymore after we got here, but. All right guys, so we're back at the car, calling it a day. Pretty tired, pulling traps for a few times, but every single time is absolutely full. Uh, both Megumi and I got our limits, so awesome on there. Too bad the dog couldn't get a limit because we'd probably come home with a lot more. Uh, big old bucket, absolutely chock full of them. This is going to be an awesome boil, but uh, again, Crayster Creek Traps did absolutely phenomenal. Today, the best bait was that tuna bloodline by Crustacean Sensation, so I'll put the link of that down in the description below. So if anybody's interested, you can go out there and get some because... Man, that stuff was killer. That first pull was insane. Uh, another thing, with these smaller rivers, try to be mindful of how much you're pulling out of there. So we, we kind of cut it cut a little short because we saw it was starting to thin out a bit. So if you're somewhere and you do start seeing the numbers dwindle in your traps, don't fish it till depletion. Just pick up your traps, go up the river a little bit. It just makes it so there's more for us, and, you know, more for whoever's out here the next time. and helps the population stay nice and strong. So, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for coming along and thanks for watching. All right, guys, so we're back at camp. Get the pot boiling. We're getting ready to cook up this. The best thing about catching a crap load of crawfish, you get to invite the neighbors over for some crawfish. So I went over to the neighbors and was like, hey guys, we got a whole mess of crawfish. We're about to have a boil. You guys should bring yourselves over and so, That'll be pretty awesome. We're gonna get to introduce some neighbors to some crawfish and have it. It's always better when you introduce them to, to some new friends. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, let you guys know once it's ready. All right, guys, the water is boiling. We're about to chuck the crawfish in. Got a bunch of zatarans and some Cajun seasoning in there with some potatoes and some corn and some garlic. So let's chuck it in. I'll take about oh. three days worth of load. <laughs> Bea's got something to say. Bea, are you my best friend? <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>